Kenya's foreign direct investment as a proportion of gross domestic product currently stands at below 1%. The manufacturing sector, one of the Vision 2030 flagship sectors identified as key in driving the country to mid-level economic status, has additionally seen its share of FDI declining over the years. The number of investor-ready projects is increasing all the time. The issue of work permits is one of the issues that will be addressed uh, as we strengthen the one-stop centre. This has contributed to Kenya's current account deficit deteriorating to 10% of GDP. The government plans to tap the extractive industry and the lapsed projects to spur investment. Kenya has so many areas of investment. This is the future. In another 10 years, this country will be in many places. Industrialization Cabinet Secretary Aidan Mohammed says that the government is rolling out various measures to push investment to 30% of GDP. Kenya Revenue Authority Commissioner General John Njeraini told the investment conference that the government has embarked on reforming tax regulations to make them friendly and simpler. Within East Africa, for example, a common DTA framework has been agreed and uh, this is uh, awaiting uh, ratification by the various countries. So I'd like to assure you that um, uh, this, this is an area that is also receiving uh, great attention and we should see a significant improvement in the, in the near future. In investors attending the international conference, motivated by business reforms the country is instituting, expressed confidence in Kenya as an investment hub. British High Commissioner to Kenya Christian Tana lauded the government's effort in changing the investment climate in the country. The two-day conference that attracted over a thousand delegates from around the world came to a close today.